Hello, fellow game thinkers. Today, I'm proud to introduce the Wheel of Games. Carthen has graciously set up this luck of the draw for me. I believe it shall offer a reprieve from this little pokey funk I've been in. I can't seem to get Pokemon out of my head. Okay. Looks like we've got a variety of games to theorize from. I see Mass Effect, Pokemon, Plants vs. Zombies, Teletubby? Carthen, no! That's not a video game. Hmm, we've got Zelda, the classic tale of Pong, and uh, etc. Well, let's try this out. Mass Effect, Mass Effect. Oh, I gotta talk about that alien booty. Mass Effect? Oh. Pokemon. I, uh, I guess I have another one in me. And boy, is this one a doozy. Hello Cyberverse people, and welcome to Game Thinking. Today, I've got a very important issue to discuss with you peeps. One concerning that of a particular Pokemon Master. Who's that Pokemon Master? Here's a hint. The Pallet Town Hero, Pikachu Prodigy, Being of a Thousand Lives, Number One Champ of the Alola League, I can't hold it in any longer, it's Ash Ketchum! Ash Ketchum is a kid, eternally 11 years old, who began his journey in Pallet Town. He was given a Pokemon by Professor Oak and thrown on lonesome, treacherous roads, where he could faint at any moment, beaten by feral Pokemon and left for dead. However, this whiz kid collected his bearings, blasted through all those gyms, and leveled his Pokemon all the way up. But when it came time to compete in the Pokemon Championships, most people think Ash got blasted off like Team Rocket. Only one trainer gets to win the tournament and challenge the Elite Four, giving them the chance to become the new champion. And it would seem that Ash didn't make the cut. But none of that really matters, because there's a deeper, more terrifying reason than blah 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 championship mambo jumbo legalese jargon. The real reason Ash could not beat the Elite Four is intrinsically connected to his biological height. Now, the canon size of Ash Ketchum is definitely and assuredly translated by me from Japanese canon sources as being 5 foot 5. Coincidentally, my height as well. Guess me and Ash have more in common than being champions. Our numerous similarities aside, you may be asking yourself, what does Ash's seemingly normal height have to do with his capability to beat the strongest trainers out there? And I must say, once you actually start using your brain, the answer is quite obvious. Let's take a deep dive and look at the Pokemon League itself. This in-game screen snap, our sole canon look at the front entrance of the Indigo League, shows the building which houses the Elite Four. If you don't see it yet, thinkers, there might be no hope for you. I began to see the cracks forming immediately. I had to confirm my suspicions, so I decided to do some in-depth sprite analysis to determine the height of the door in good old inches and feet. If we take a close look at the league's entrance, we can measure its width and height in pixels, and then using canon heights, translate those pixels into our real-world measurements. After meticulous calculation, the door comes out to exactly 15 pixels high and 23 pixels wide. Now all we need is a Pokemon to compare its given height to that of our door. 
So let me introduce you to my good friend, Mr. Ditto, my little old daycare pal. You know, that takes me back to a distant childhood memory, drinking mellow yellow in my dad's closet and coming across this old purple rubber mushroom. <laughs> Man, I would find that thing and whack it against the ground and walls in there like, whoa So, anyway, let's see how my little mushroom friend measures up. Oh, Ditto comes out to be 13 pixels tall and 16 pixels wide. Checking with my handy dandy limited edition Pokédex real quick, Ditto's cannon height is said to be exactly one foot tall. Boom! Let's map the sh** out of this. If Ditto is one foot tall and 13 pixels high, then each pixel comes out to be 0.92 inches. Taking that figure and factoring in our door stats, the final measurements of the door come out to be one foot two inches tall and one foot nine inches wide? Whoa! Are you with me, thinkers? If the door is just one foot tall and two feet wide, there's no way Ash could fit through! But wait, if you can challenge the Elite Four in the games and all the NPCs can make it through, wouldn't that mean they're all about the same height as the door? Well, yeah, it would! In the Pokemon games, all the humans must, canonically, be approximately one to two feet tall in order to get around. Ash wouldn't just be a figurative giant among men, he would be a literal five foot five giant! It's obvious to me that my Nintendogs might have made a couple little oopsies along the way, and it's most likely an error that Ash is this tall. The best explanation I can possibly give is that Ash's intended height is almost certainly supposed to be very short, just like everyone else. But hey, that's just my thinking. My game thinking. See you thinkers later.